Sutherland and I am from an organization in Calgary called the Weaselhead Glenmore Park Preservation Society. The Weaselhead is a park right here in Calgary that has several really important wetlands that filters the water that goes into the Glenmore Reservoir, which is actually where our drinking water comes from. Our organization offers lots of educational and experiential opportunities, including field trips and online activities that you can download and it will get you away from your screen and interacting with the environment. Well, today we're actually going to do one of my favorite activities to connect with the environment and that's growing plants. Now, I really enjoy watching plants grow and depending on the plant that you grow, you might even end up with some food at the end. Now, what you'll need for this activity is finding some dry seeds. Now, they do need to be dry. Just see what you have in your cupboard. Um, some of them may not grow, but you can always give them a go. Now, first things first, you're going to soak these seeds overnight. You'll also need some paper towel and one of three things, either a plastic sandwich bag, a plastic clear container like this, or even a glass see-through container. But you only need one of those three. Now, once you've soaked your beans overnight, they're gonna look a little something like this. Nice and big. You've soaked up all that water and that lets them know that it's time to grow, as this is. Our non-soaked seed. So first I'm going to drain out all the extra water from the seeds I've soaked overnight. Here we go. I'm going to set those aside at the moment. Now I want to get my paper towel damp. So I've got a little bit of water here and I'm going to stick my paper towel in the water. You can run it under the tap even, but you don't want it soaking. You don't want it dripping all over the place. So you're going to Squeeze out all that excess water. Woo, I am making a mess. <laughs> I'll clean that up later. And then we're going to fold it back out very carefully. Now we're going to lay it down nice and flat. And if you're growing your seeds in the plastic container or in a plastic bag, you can just lay them on with a little bit of space in between them so they have room to grow and they're not competing with each other for water. And gently let the towel touch it and then place it in either of those containers. Or, if you're putting it in a glass container like I am today, take the glass container, open that up, and we'll take the paper towel and stuff it in there. Just kind of crumple it up so that it fills the space at the bottom. Just enough. And when you put the seeds in, you'll press the seeds against the side. Get these guys in there. And that guy in there. And this way, as they grow, you can even watch the roots develop. Now, it may take a little bit of time for them to grow. So you'll have to be patient and check on them every day. You want to keep the paper towel nice and moist, so take some water and let it drip onto your paper towel if it ever gets dry. Then you'll take your jar or your plastic container or plastic bag and stick it in a windowsill or on top of a re refrigerator, somewhere nice and warm. And this will let the seed know that it's time to grow. Now I did prepare some seeds earlier and in just one day, you can see how much these seeds have grown. There's a little root coming right out of it. Isn't that cool? If you want to find more information on how to plant your beans or your seeds, whichever seeds you find after they've grown, you can visit our website at theweaselhead.com. We also have a number of other worksheets that you can download and we'll be sending these worksheets directly to our members and teachers. And as always, The Weasel Head is a wonderful place to go for a bike ride, go for a nice walk, discover what wildlife we have right here in Calgary, and maybe even go bird watch. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.